Right, okay, so we've got this 2017 Mustang GT in. Uh, it's got the 2.9 Whipple supercharger on it. It was fitted by another company. Come here for the MMR billet oil pump and crank gears fitting. We've fitted them, fitted some Kooks long tube headers, got the engine started up, ready to go on the dyno to tune it. And we've, uh, we've we noticed that the fuel trims are actually at about 30% positive which indicates that there's some sort of air leak or a faulty O2 sensor so we've we have fitted the the headers so that kind of rules out an exhaust leak or anything like that so now we've got the smoke tester set up going into the supercharger to see if we can identify any um, sort of intake leaks so now the supercharger unit's filling up with smoke and if there's any sort of leaks we should see it coming out of any mating faces. If you look down there. So you can see that there's actually smoke leaking through the side of the supercharger where the supercharger meets the intake manifold. Which and it's actually leaking at that side as well. So there is actually a, an O-ring that fits around the top of the intake manifold um, and if it's been installed incorrectly and it's not actually seated properly that could cause a leak and that's the issue that we've, we've identified. So we're going to take the supercharger off, have a look at the O-ring, probably replace it and that should fix the issue. I can't lift that. Yeah, you can. I can't lift that. You're strong, you. I'll give it a go. I don't think I can do that. Teddy! Yeah. Can you give us, give us an hand with this, please? Yeah. Called in the henchman. I can't lift that by myself. Seeing your big arms, mate. Mm -hmm. Have you got it? Yeah. Oh, no, see, look on underneath that, that's why. I think I've got it now. You got it? Yeah. Off you go. Is something stuck to it? Yeah, this thing here. Ah, I know what that is. Bypass valve. Mm. Let's put it back in today, but no. Round two. Yeah. Try it with a bypass valve disconnected this time. <laughs> Go on. Oh god. What's happened? <laughs> oh no. What we're looking at. Oh. What? What is that? How? There's no silicon in it. So you should have silicon in the groove holding the gasket in. Um, and that stops it from moving about if you ever, when you, cause when you put the supercharger on. Supercharger, you've got to shuffle it about a bit. So if they put the charger on and didn't get the holes lined up straight away, they'll have to shuffle the supercharger left to right or even forwards and backwards. And that rolls the gasket about. Okay. And then you can see there that the charger's just been sat on top of that. It's not actually being sat in the groove, so it'll be rolled over like that. And torn it. And torn it. Mm. So every gasket's ripped. Amateurs. Scraping off with a blade, just making it all nice and flat to get any of the excess sealant off. Make sure the supercharger sits flush with the intake manifold. And it just looks nice. No mess. That's how it should look. That's how it should have been done from. T to be honest, that'd probably be better like that than it is with the.
No leaks. So uh, as you saw, we smoke tested the the oh, <laughs> start here. So as you saw in the last shot, we've smoke tested the supercharger now after installing new O-rings, um, and it actually popped the glove off the throttle body, meaning that the supercharger is now holding the pressure that it should be. It's not leaking out of the sides anymore, so all that's all nice and sealed. No more air leaks. So we're going to put the car back together. Um, get it all up and running, check the fuel trims, make sure it's all within spec, and then we're gonna get the car and dyno and get it tuned.